One question I get asked a lot on the topic of merging is, what items do you buy and sell? Well, you can basically buy and sell anything, but the real question is what items are worth buying and selling. But I could spend hours or days explaining what items are good for selling and what items are situational and which ones are bad. I'm not going to do that. Instead, the far easier and more effective way is just to show you an average day of me merging and how quick and easy it is. Now the first thing you should do is always check the auction house. It's the most important thing about merging today. And you look through and see if you could snag any good deals or anything. Like, that, that's alright. But sometimes you'll see extreme ripoffs like, you know, people overpricing quest items and all that. Some items people just price way too high. They're not going to sell. I don't know why they do it. This is a pretty good price, so I'll bid on that. That's a good price, but like I said, there's some items that just won't sell. It's, it's going to take me a while to sell this if I buy it, but I could probably get a hundred grand. But it's not really worth my time. This is just a ripoff, you know. If you know prices, you know what to stay away from. Too much. Eh. That's fair, but it's play dead, I mean... Oh yeah, another thing about the auction house, not that many people know actually, but if you compare the high bid and the number here, if this number is higher than the high bid, that means that there was a bid placed on it. That's a good price. No one bid on that. Not bad. But you know, I'm trying to make money, so I have to grab things that are cheap. Too high. Fish? I mean, really? Way too high. Alright, hey, where's that pummel ring? I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna sell for like 25, maybe 30. Now, of course, you gotta sell some things too. Now, you can have more alts and, you know, list more things, but it's just way more time effective for me just to buy more slots. Now, you gotta find a mix of things that people are actually gonna buy. Not just high price items, not just low price items, but, you know, list a fair price and people might buy it. And don't ever try and compete with prices, you know, check to see what people are selling and don't try and sell the same things as them. Competing is never a good thing, unless you're buying, because then you can undercut people and, you know, steal the deal from them, but...
it's not really good to get into fights too often. Always list things for 12 hours too, so you can cycle inventory faster. about it like what what would you buy something for put that in your mind like don't blatantly put a huge price on something just because you think that oh that's what I'm gonna get for it no you have to think realistically You can throw a few novelty items in there too, like, like I'll throw a reaper in there and basically just to get out of my inventory, but I mean money is money, right? Toward the end, it kind of gets hard deciding what I want to sell because I have all this stuff here, and a lot of it I don't even want. But always be sure to throw a few things in the cycle that you think you're not going to sell. Long term sales, you know kind of take priority especially if you don't have that many things like this huntsman ring is going to take me a while to sell that's why I'm putting it pretty cheap you know normally you shouldn't do that but there comes a time where having the gold in hand is better than waiting and seeing, you know, if you can get more for it. Because then you have that gold in your hand to invest in other things. I have a feeling this ain't going to sell for a while too. I mean, the stats aren't that great, but maybe somebody will buy it. Maybe somebody will buy this one too. I don't know. That's the thing about this, you know, you're only taking guesses. Now I have four dragon eggs and I could list them all, but I'm gonna make it look like I don't have four dragon eggs, you know. Supply and demand and all that. You can fake it a little bit. Nah, somebody was just selling green, so I'll sell an orange and see what I can get out of it. Now, another good tip is list the buyout price close to the starting bid. It'll make it more likely for people to impulse buy it. And, you know, always list a buyout. It's stupid not to, because somebody could just bid on the starting bid and get it for that instead of the buyout. I don't really want these uh, nodding tokens, so... I don't know, 5 grand? <laughs> and we'll put it at 10. We'll throw some XP's in there since they usually sell pretty good. 
Five grand each. I don't mind if they sell for 240, you know. Close enough. Now, I hear people say that you shouldn't use the auction house because, you know, you lose 5% at the end for sales. That's just a horrible argument because you should be making more than 5% profit on stuff you buy. And it makes it way easier and you can sell stuff even when you're offline. Another thing you could do is um, put things a little bit higher price, especially if people need them. Like, I know I could buy energies for a grand each, but they're kind of hard to find on Lug, sometimes at least, and I can get away with a little bit more. If you have chests, they'll almost always sell, so I list about 20 personally per day. And usually you could sell them for more than you could sell in person because people, people who like to gamble, they usually can't control themselves honestly. And they'll just see them and they'll buy them. I don't know why. It's sad, but, you know, it's the way it works. And especially if you have a huge amount of something like me, make sure your numbers are right before you walk away. Because it could be a huge loss if you don't. We'll throw a few of these in there too, why not? Especially if you're not in a rush to sell something, you know, you can put the price up a little bit, because if you don't have anything to sell, I mean, why try and rush to sell it? so I don't really care how long it takes for me to sell it. I mean, I have all this other stuff to sell. These charms are pretty bad, so any money is good money. Sacrifice Mm. Not as bad as people make it out to be, honestly. But, even though I know that, a lot of people don't. So I have to adjust for that. These worm bone weapons are going to take forever to sell too, but I got them for like half price. I mean, that's another thing you have to look out for. If you notice something is 50% of shop value or less, buy it immediately. Because in one of the shops, it'll always sell for 50%. So you lose nothing or you gain money. Instantly. And you have something new to sell too. And that's literally all there is to it. I mean, people say you can't merch and boss at the same time. You know, it takes so much time merching. No, that's literally my whole entire day. That's all I have to do, and I pull in usually about a million a day. Now, granted, I have stuff already that I can sell, but if you start buying stuff, 
you'll start stockpiling. And, you know, you can sell stuff as you buy it, too, and eventually you'll build up more and more items to sell, and it just rolls on from there. It's literally all there is to it. It's not as hard as it's made out to be.